his. This is the same plate as hers because you don't have to eat less just because you're a girl. Who else is saying this? No one is saying this. Boy, what is this bull, man? I can't even, bruh. <laughs> BMI is not an indicator of health. Okay, so we got two dudes here. We got the ridiculous. Your size 11 shoes. Sorry, we carry up to size 9. You'll just have to squeeze into that size. And you have also ridiculous. Your BMI is 28. Sorry, a BMI of 19 to 25 is what's considered healthy. You'll have to lose weight. Hold up. Wait, what? How is that the same as shoe size? Wait a second. Oh, oh, oh I get it. I get it. I get it now. Wait, no I don't, because BMI is one of our most accurate ways of figuring out if someone is obese or anorexic, so I don't understand what's incorrect about some, uh, a doctor telling you that you need to lose weight because you have a high BMI. Content note, O oh, words. When you use the word obese, you're actively participating in the oppression, marginalization, and dehumanizing of fat people. Oh wait, ooh, this is a two-parter, hold up, hold up. This word is harmful. You can't pathogize my fatness without doing harm. Internalized fat phobia can pressure a fat person into buying into this fat-hating language of obesity. Reclaiming fatness is powerful and necessary for liberation from anti-fatness. Take away the weaponized power of the word fat. Let it be an adjective. Claim it as an identity. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. One, fatness can be an identity, but it's a pretty poor one, a pretty terrible identity to have. You, you shouldn't identify with your obesity. You should seek to replace it or get rid of it. And internalized fat phobia can pressure a fat person to buying into this fat hating language of obesity. That doesn't make sense. In internalized anything is so ridiculous. Internalized racism, internalized sexism, it's so stupid because essentially it's a cop out to tell people who don't feel this way or don't feel that fat activism is actually correct and they're obese, they feel bad. They're like, oh, so I'm, I must be being tricked by diet culture into thinking that my fatness is poor, when in reality, you're being rational. Anyway, this entire thread is ridiculous, this person's ridiculous, and if you are overweight, just work out. There's no reason for you to get into groups like this or make tweets about how beautiful your body is, because it really isn't. You're hurting yourself. Y'all naturally skinny but can't fathom someone being naturally fat? I know so many skinny girls who can't gain weight, and they'll be like, oh my god, it's my genetics. Meanwhile, y'all telling big people to just eat different? <laughs> Lamau. I'm gonna start telling skinny girls who want to be thick that, and the tweet cuts off. I don't know where else, I don't know if it's hidden behind those words, but whatever. This is ridiculous, sweetie. Yes, people can be naturally skinny. And that is the natural, that's the norm for most humans. You can't be naturally obese. Now there are some individuals who are born a little bigger, who can pack on fat a lot easier than me, but that doesn't exclude the individuals who are 400, 500, 600 pounds, not because of genetics, but because of their overeating and their lack of responsibility and respectability of themselves of changing their lifestyle. You try to tell me how this entire tweet makes sense, because it really doesn't. All it is is just this woman trying to tell other skinny girls and somewhat herself that she isn't necessarily responsible for her weight. And she takes that hate out on girls who look better than her. Womp, there it is. <laughs> At this point, if you are not fat, you, I can't read this. Womp, there it is. What does, what could that possibly Doctors used to recommend mercury, bloodletting, and smoking as healthcare treatment. I look forward to the day weight loss is added to that list. Oh shit, Re resuscitate him, resuscitate him. Yo, oh my god, what, what happened, man? What happened, dude? Oh man, I don't know, dude. He just read something on his computer screen. Yo, yo let me see it, let me see it. Doctors used to recommend bloodletting and smoking as health treatment. I look forward to the day weight loss is added to that list. Oh my god, not you too! Oh my god! Bruh, people are still talking about this shirt even after it turned out that it was made by leftists in order to comment on fat phobia, which is so funny because I think people are buying this shirt now unironically just so they can show people how much they dislike fat phobia and how much they don't like the body positivity movement. <laughs> the way the world works.
Some people can't control their weight, like whom for example? It's genetics, like if your parents were fat, you were gonna be fat. So you can't control that. One, that rhymed, and two, no, that's not at all how that works. If they eat the same diet, all members of such a family would be fat. If the adults ate McDonald's and the children ate chicken, spinach, rice, and only drank water, the children would be likely more healthier. No, there's a thing called fast metabolism for skinny people, which means they can eat as much as a fat people, but gain weight. But since fat people have a slow metabolism, just simple fast food that we take for granted will make them overweight. Bruh, your grammar sucks. And also, you can't deny that well-balanced diets and proper exercise for everyone would keep weight down. Also, metabolisms are different for everyone, even in families. Okay, but who has time for all of that? No offense, but chubby slash fat stomachs are cute as hell, and people who don't appreciate them are cowards. I guess the majority of the population are cowards then. I don't know how that makes sense though. When you say doctors are fat phobic- Ah, 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 no, you can't do that, mm -mm. You can't say that unless you have sources. If you don't have sources, then you can't prove that doctors are fat phobic. Next one. Everybody deserves respect. You know what? That that does- that makes sense. I'll agree with you on that. It's rude to call someone fat in the street or just be- belligerent about their weight because you know they might be sensitive about it but soon as you start telling people that they're cowards for not liking fat bodies or how diet culture is a thing that makes doctors lie about weight loss and bmi that's where you lose me and i make fun of you on r slash fat logic apple watch should have a mode that just lets you love your body yeah we won't catch every instance but we believe that this will help a lot of people who don't know they had an issue apple watch cares so much about fitness it's like your friend who did crossfit three times and now has a lot of opinions about it wow an obese person complaining about how a fitness thing is telling them that they're not fit what it's almost like it's a conspiracy no it isn't though it really isn't though and even then Regardless of all of that, if you really don't like the fact that the Apple Watch is telling you accurate information about your health, just don't buy it. Don't force Apple to not innovate. Just don't buy the watch. Am I confused? Is Apple making you buy watches now? Hold up. Do I have to? Is it a law? What? Never trust a doctor who keeps insisting you lose weight and keeps trying to force you to diet despite you telling them that your excess weight is just excess muscle. What? <sighs> Why didn't that does it? Yo, I keep, I don't know if I can do this anymore, man. It's like, I, I, I read so much stuff that just doesn't make sense, dude. I, I don't know if I can continue. Oh my God. Dieting makes you fatter. Bruh, what is this? Oh my gosh, it, this entire post reeks of self-hate. Oh, you know, these other girls who were big like me dieted and lost weight and now they're pretty, but I didn't want to because I'm body positive. I can just see, oh, oh gosh, it's so transparent. This entire post is super transparent. Dear fat people, don't go to the doctor that prescribes a diet for your blood pressure. Would a skinny person have to go on a diet? Request for the same treatment. Stand up for your rights. Yes, a skinny person would have to get a diet for their blood pressure. Because if you didn't already know, skinny people can also have hurt issues. Because you can be very lean and have a very bad diet. And then now you have an artery going and you don't even know. So yes, skinny people also are prescribed diet change and medication for heart issues. You retarded motherfucker. The concept of health is used as a weapon against marginalized people. Stop buying into the rhetoric of health. It's okay to be fat. Absolutely wrong. Fat is officially incurable, according to science. Let's get this straight. The number of dieters who go from fat to thin and stay there statistically rounds down to zero. Every study says so. No study says otherwise. None. What study? I would love to see it. Ooh, that was written in 2012. Yikes, I bet that study's out of date or has been... Uh, has been uh, debunked. 
But I, I would love to see the this um, the source for this because that's really interesting. But I wouldn't be surprised if there is a one. At, but you know, I'm just a guy on the internet. I, I could be wrong. You know. Sleeping is for thin people. <laughs> well, well, that is the the stupidest thing you hear all day. <laughs> Y'all skinny females love saying I'm getting thick, baby girl. I've seen more butt on a cigarette. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a good one. I'm not gonna roast it. That's just that's good. You made me laugh today. Ooh, that's good. Why is it so hard to find plus size vintage? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe fat people in the past weren't considered attractive. Unhealthy lifestyles put four and five adults at risk for an early death. Fighting fat phobia. 10 ways to do the right thing. Ooh, the irony is so good. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, it's so perfect. It is just so perfect. Fat stigma like sexism and racism is another oppressive cultural institutional system, one that degrades people of size to the advantage of people who live in a more socially ex <sighs> Yo, I can't even, uh, even reading it, I'm, I'm running out of breath. Jesus. Who has time to write papers about bullshit like this? Jesus, why am I so out of breath? Oh my god. Weight loss myth. Once I lose weight, I'll be happy and perfect. Weight loss truth. I lost the weight, was unhappy, unhealthy, and gained everything back plus some. Whatever you want to believe, sister, to keep you from imploding, do it. I, 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 clearly people who like stuff like this need to believe that weight loss cannot work because seriously if i was obese and thinking this way i would severely hate any sort of data that said that weight loss was actually healthy because it would make it seem that my choices in life are detrimental but who am i i'm just a panda on the internet What's up, everybody? I hope you had a good day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did like it, please let me know in the comments down below. I really do enjoy reading your stuff. You guys are so nice to me. And yeah, if you want to talk to me more, go into the Discord chat. See you later.